Boy, it's January 4th. It's a big day for me. It's my birthday. And it's a special birthday at that because it's the big 7-0 birthday. And I've got some things to share about that. It's certainly given me a lot of things to think about. And I'm going to share them now with you. Hey, it's Kevin Raber, and uh, as I said before, it's the big 7-0, and it's a great day. First off, I have to say that the uh, the 7 is the new 45, because I feel like I'm in my 40s. I still have a lot of energy. I'm still pretty active. Uh, yes, every now and then I wake up with an ache and a crick. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, sometimes at the end of the day, I hurt a little more than I uh, used to hurt, but uh, I'm still going and I'm still going strong. And the big 7 has got me thinking a lot about photography, about my gear, where I'm going in life, and those kind of things. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit about it real quick. Uh, first off, um, I don't do a lot of upgrades these days. So it's kind of weird. I think I've cured my, um, my gear acquisition syndrome, or otherwise known as gas. Um, so that's a pleasant surprise for me. And uh, I guess what I'm doing is holding on to my gear longer and um, not trying to make my life so difficult. Almost every camera takes a great picture these days. And frankly, just like with a, a Sony a7R4, the odds of me shooting with an a7R4 and an a7R5 and making a big image difference is very small. And I think that's really what I look at these days is when I purchase equipment, what it's going to do to help make my uh, photography better. Um, hopefully we'll see bigger megapixels and some things like that. Um, in the near future, hopefully next week, I want to show you all the Sony gear I have and uh, explain why my Sony A1 is my favorite camera, and I'm looking so much forward to a firmware upgrade that they've been announcing uh, for this coming spring. But anyway, uh, I'm going to share a lot during the year about my new thoughts and things in regards to being a, a little bit older in life, and uh, it's kind of exciting. Uh, but I, I am doing some different things, and what we will be offering real soon, as I explained in an article last week, is hopefully next week or the week after, we're going to announce a, a bi-weekly, I guess, bi-weekly, or it would be bi-monthly. No, bi-weekly, because we're going to do two times a, a month, uh, a special webinar series. And we have a very, very special guest who will be our first guest on the series, which will launch in February. More details about that coming soon. But uh, this is birthday weekend, and I just want to let you know that I'm heading out. And uh, I thought I'd share with you what I'm heading out with. I'm making my life simple. Uh, my wife is going to take her uh, Fuji X-H1 system and all her lenses in a big backpack. Good for her. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is traveling light. So I have a lot to say about this little camera here. This is the RX10 IV. Hasn't been changed much in recent years. It's a cool ass camera. It's got a lens built in so you can really do some really cool uh, zoom lenses are built right into it as you can see. So if I wanted to go telephoto or wide angle it's very easy to do. Uh, it's got a great system in the back for uh, focusing and working, got good video. It's a one inch sensor. I think it's around 21 megapixels. It's not a lot, but for a weekend, what we're doing this weekend is Deborah and I are going away with uh, the grandkids and the uh, other members of the family for a little time at a lodge at one of the Indiana State Parks. So I figured I'd take this camera just so that I don't burden myself with a lot of different things. And I'm going to go over pictures and this camera a lot in uh, another video. I'm also going to take my real favorite camera. This is the Sony RX100, and um, it's uh, a real beauty. It's the latest model. Um, this is kind of camera you can have with you all the time. I kind of just put a lanyard over my neck, and it just kind of sits there. It's got a viewfinder, so if I wanted to work with a viewfinder, it's got a great rear screen that does all sorts of cool tilting, so I can actually do selfies with it and so forth, so that's pretty cool in case you haven't seen that. So uh, this will be my other camera that uh, I'll pretty much have with me the whole time, no matter what. Uh, the problem with this camera is it takes these little batteries, so you got to have a load of those handy. The problem with this camera is it takes these old Sony batteries, those of you that may remember these, uh, the day when we had old Sony batteries like this. Um, I'm also going to take my Action 4. This is a DJI Osmo Action 4 camera. In case I want to do some action pictures, yeah, yeah, me doing action pictures, like 
But you never know, you know, this also is a good B-roll camera if I want to set it on the ground and do some walking along one of the trails that we might go on or something. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, this is a really good camera. And um, I'm working also and filming this with the DJI Osmo 3. Uh, that camera will be going with me too. It's got a really cool new wireless mic that gets attached uh, to it and makes great videos. And it's, it's a, a lot of fun to use. So uh, I'll be doing something more on that camera and my experiences with it in the very near future. And then another fun camera I'm going to take with me for some fun shots is the uh, DJI, well not the DJI, so excuse me, this is the Insta360. And um, this does a really cool thing where it films uh, 360 around you and it blacks out the handle. And I've got uh, both a really long handle, this is going like 15 feet. Uh, so I can make it look like it's a drone shot over my Jeep or as we're walking through things. And then, of course, I've got the, the smaller one I can use also. So uh, for me, this is going to be my birthday weekend where I can play, have some fun with some of these cameras, get outside, take some pictures, enjoy the family, which is very, very important to me, and just have a good time. Don't think, though, for one minute that I'm not going to be giving some contemplation and thought to where we're going in the future, where photography is going in the future, and all the big changes that are coming. It's kind of like a second wave right now, and uh, we'll have a lot to say about that as we move on. Uh, we have a number of people I'm uh, collaborating with that we're going to be sharing a whole bunch of cool information. I hope you really like where we're going with things, but it's an exciting time. Welcome to 2024. It's my birthday day. I'm going to have a lot of fun. It's the big 7-0, which is kind of cool, man. I never thought I'd get this far. And uh, now all I got to do is get to the big eight zero. That will be an accomplishment. But I'm looking forward to getting there. And I know many of my readers are there. And uh, all you readers that I know with those big eight O's and sometimes the nine O's are a great inspiration to me. And I thank you. I intend to be doing this the rest of my life to the day I die. Uh, it's the only thing I've known since I was 12 years old. And I love sharing all of this with you. And we have a lot of stuff to do together. Also look for some updates on the uh, Greenland workshop next year and some consulting and small workshops that are coming up. Anyway, it's Kevin Raver. I'm really excited. I've got so much to do and uh, never enough time to do it all in. But I thank all of you for hanging out and uh, look for some cool articles coming up next week. Signing off. I'll see you in a few days.